हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज अंकित टुडे वी आर लर्निंग एप्रायरी एल्गोरिदम एप्रायरी इज द एल्गोरिदम ऑफ एसोसिएशन रूल माइनिंग इट इज यूज्ड टू डिस्कवर स्ट्रांग एसोसिएशन रूल्स वी आर टेकिंग वन एग्जांपल टू अंडरस्टैंड एप्रायरी एल्गोरिदम हियर वी आर गिवन विद अ डेटा सेट इन व्हिच वी हैव ट्रांजैक्शन एंड आइटम्स बॉट देयर आर फाइव ट्रांजैक्शंस in each transaction we are having combination of items which are bought together in transaction 1 bread butter and milk are bought together in the similar way transaction 2 contain bread and butter transaction 3 contain beer and cookies transaction 4 contain milk bread and butter and transaction 5 contain beer and milk here minimum support is given 40% and minimum confidence is given 70% from this data set we are going to generate association rules from frequent item set it means we are going to find out the items which are frequently bought and from these items we will generate association rules out of all these items which are bought we are going to find the unique items just like bread butter milk bread is repeated butter is repeated beer cookies milk repeated bread repeated butter repeated beer repeated and milk is repeated From this data set we have five unique items now we are taking one item set and its support count here one item set means the individual item we are putting all the unique items onto table here support count means how many times the individual item appear in data set the first item is bread In the data set we have 1 2 3 so 3 times bread is appearing so support count is 3 next item is butter in the data set 1 2 and 3 so 3 times butter is appearing support count of butter is 3 next is milk in the data set 1 2 and 3 so support count of milk is 3 next item is beer in the data set 1 and 2 so two times beer is appearing support count of beer is 2 next item is cookies in the data set only one time cookies is appearing so support count of cookies is 1 so in this table we have one item set means the single items and their support count we have given minimum support 40% from this we are calculating minimum support count that is equal to minimum support multiply with item set count that will be equal to here minimum support is 40% which means 40 divided by 100 multiply with item set count here number of transactions are 5 means these are the 5 item sets so multiply with 5 which will be equal to 2 so minimum support count must be 2 Here the bread contains support count three, butter contains three, milk contains three, beer contains two, cookies contain one support count which is less than the minimum support required, so that will be discarded. Now we are taking remaining unique items, which are bread, butter, milk, and beer. we are not taking cookies because its support count is less than the minimum support count required 
Now we are taking two item set and support count. Here two item set means two items together. From these unique items, we are going to generate set of two items. First is bread and butter. Next is bread and milk. Next is bread and beer. Next is butter and milk. Next is butter and beer. Next is milk and beer. So these are the six combinations possible. Now we are going to calculate their support count. Support count means how much time their combination appear in data set. The first set is bread and butter. In the data set we are checking bread and butter which are coming together. So bread and butter one time, bread and butter two time, bread and butter three time. So support count is three. Next is bread and milk. So bread and milk one time, bread and milk two time. So support count is two. Next is bread and beer. In the data set, bread and beer are not coming together. So support count is zero. Next is butter and milk. In the data set, butter and milk coming together one time. Again, butter and milk two time. So support count is two. Next is butter and beer. In the data set, butter and beer are not coming together. So support count is zero. Next is milk and beer. In the data set, milk and beer are coming together one time. So support count is one. We have given with minimum support 40% means minimum support count should be two. So the combinations which have support count greater than equal to two are accepted. And the combinations whose support count is less than two are discarded. Now, from the accepted item set, we are going to find unique items. So, bread, butter. The bread is repeated. Milk. This combination is discarded. Butter is repeated. Milk is repeated. This combination is discarded and this combination is discarded. So we have unique items, bread, butter and milk. From the unique items, we are going to generate three item set and their support count. Three item set means three items together. From unique items, there is only one possible combination of three items. It is bread, butter and milk. Here the support count means how much time this combination appear in data set. Here bread, butter and milk. In the data set they are appearing one and two times. So the support count is two. Minimum support count must be two. So this is accepted. There are three unique item. From this we cannot generate four item set. So we are stopping here. Now we are generating association rules. To find the association rules we will calculate the confidence. Confidence of A and B is support of A and B divided by Support of A. The association means relation. So to find the association rule, we must have relation between items. So we are taking minimum two item set. We will take accepted item set. The first is bread and butter. We are finding the confidence of bread and butter. 
so that will be support of bread and butter and that is 3 divided by support of bread which is 3 so 3 by 3 is 100 percent means if someone is purchasing bread there is 100 percent chance that they will also purchase butter minimum confidence required is 70 percent and this is 100 percent so this association rule is accepted Next is confidence of butter and bread. The support of butter and bread is 3 divided by support of butter which is 3. So 3 by 3 is 100% which means if someone is purchasing butter there are 100% chance they will also purchase bread. And the minimum confidence required is 70%. This is 100%. So the association rule of butter and bread is accepted. Next combination is bread and milk. The confidence of bread and milk is support of bread and milk which is 2 divided by support of bread which is 3 and this is 66 percent if someone is purchasing bread there are 66 percent chance that they will purchase milk minimum confidence required is 70 percent so this association rule is rejected next is confidence of milk and bread that will be equal to support of milk and bread which is 2 divide by support of milk that is 3 it will be equal to 66 percent if someone is purchasing milk there are 66 percent chance that they will also purchase bread minimum confidence required is 70 percent so the association of milk and bread is rejected next combination of item set is butter and milk so the confidence of butter and milk is support of butter and milk that is 2 divided by support of butter which is 3 it is 66 percent minimum confidence required is 70 percent so this rule is discarded next is confidence of milk and butter which is equal to support of milk and butter that is 2 divided by support of milk which is 3 it is 66 percent which is less than minimum confidence so this association rule is discarded we have taken all the accepted combinations from two item set now we are going to the three item set and there is only single combination which is accepted that is bread butter and milk we are finding confidence of bread and butter with milk so the support of bread butter and milk that is 2 divided by support of bread and butter that is 3 it is 66 percent the people who are purchasing bread and butter together there are 66 percent chance they will also purchase milk minimum confidence required is 70 percent so this association rule is rejected next is confidence of bread and milk with butter that will be equal to support of bread milk and butter which is 2 divided by support of bread and milk that is 2 so this will be 100 percent people who are purchasing bread and milk together there are 100 percent chance they will also purchase butter minimum confidence required is 70 percent so this association rule is 
accepted. Next is confidence of butter and milk with bread. It will be equal to support of butter, milk and bread which is 2 divided by support of butter and milk that is 2. So this will be 100%. The people who are purchasing butter and milk together, there are 100% chance they will also purchase bread. The minimum confidence required is 70%. So this association rule is accepted. So from the two item set and three item set, we have calculated confidence of all the accepted combinations. Minimum confidence required is 70%. Using a priori algorithm, we have discovered strong association rules. Just like association rule of bread with butter, association rule of butter with bread, association rule of bread and milk with butter, association rule of butter and milk with bread. So these are the four association rules which we have discovered using a priori algorithm. In our shop, we must take combination of these items so that we can attain maximum profit. So that's all for today. Thank you.